Hey everyone, it's Priscilla from the Sis Queen Crochet and today I'm going to show you all how to make the easiest ribbed crochet beading you'll ever make. You're going to want to make one in every single color for your mom, your dad, with pom-poms, without pom-poms. They are so addicting and so much fun to make. And also you can find me at the Sis Queen Crochet on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, every social media that you enjoy. So make sure you check me out. And also in the description there are timestamps for every single part of this video if you want to skip to a certain part. So without further ado, get your favorite worsted weight yarn, 5.5 millimeter hook, and let's get into it. So what you'll need to make this super easy crochet beanie is an I9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, scissors, of course, a darning needle to sew in your ends and to sew up the top of the beanie. Uh, measuring tape is optional. And you will need a medium four weight yarn. I am using Red Heart Super Saver Yarn, one of my favorites, in patty green. All of the stitches and techniques that you need to know are all listed in the, in the description of this video with video tutorials for each of them as well. But the basics is a slip knot, um, a slip stitch, a chain, and a half double crochet are all the stitches that we are going to be using today. So to start off our pattern, we are going to start off with a slip knot. So make a little loop, get the short yarn back, all right. So I start off with a slip knot. Then we are going to chain 46 chains. In case you don't know a chain, wrap the yarn around your hook and then pull it through the loop on your hook. Once again, all the tutorials are in the description of this video. So we need 46 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25, 9, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. All right, so now we have 46 chains. Now you are going to skip your first chain on your hook. You're going to skip it completely and you're going to do a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook. Skip the first one. We're going to go into the second chain and do a half double crochet stitch, which is wrapping on around, put it into the chain, wrap around, pull through once, wrap around, pull through all three. Once again, I'm like, I know I keep saying it, in case you don't know how to do half double crochet, the tutorial is in the description of this video. So you are going to half double crochet into every single chain um, from this point on. So we're going to keep going in all the chains until we get to the end and that is going to leave us with 45 half double crochet stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and continue half double crocheting down into all of the 45 chains and I'll catch up with you guys at the end of row one. All right, I am just now crocheting into the last chain. So now I have 45 half double crochet stitches. And now we're going to turn our work, which is as simple as literally turning it around just like that. So we are going to repeat row two until we get about 19 inches in length. So, or you can, I'll show you guys how many rows I did after I get to that length. So, okay, so sorry, row two, chain one. I've already chained one un unconsciously. And we are going to do half double crochet stitches into the back loop of every single stitch. So, in case you know what the back loop is, here is our stitch. There's a little V. Here's a front loop. Here is the back loop. And I put your hook into instead of going underneath both you're only going to go into the back loop so front loop back loop back loop and do a half double crochet stitch so you guys one more time so here's our next stitch 
Here we have the front loop and the back loop of our little V, that's our stitch. We're then gonna go into the back loop and do a half double crochet. As you can see it's adding kind of like ridged edging right here. It's gonna make that pop out. It's gonna look super cute once the beanie is done. So you're gonna go into the back loop of each half double crochet you did in the previous row until you get all the way to the end. And you'll have 45 half double crochet again. So I'm gonna let you guys know after this row is over how many more rows you need to do or you can just keep going until your work measures to 19 inches. But I'll catch up with you guys in a second. Oh, and real quick, the reason why we do 19 inches long is because I think the average adult head is around 21, 22 inches, something like that. I'll double check that if I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen right here. So we're gonna make it a few inches smaller than that so that it can stretch to be able to reach that circumference of the head. You don't wanna make it the exact size because acrylic yarn stretches a little bit and you don't want to end up overstretching it, the hat, and it becomes too loose. So we make this, this acrylic hat a little bit smaller than it needs to be and it'll stretch to fit the head perfectly. And this video is sponsored by me, Priscilla from the Sis Queen Crochet. I create colorful boho and hippie crochet patterns. So I have free tutorials on YouTube and paid patterns that are written as well. I also make fun tutorials and reels and shorts on all my social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. So check me out below, subscribe, and I'll see y'all soon. All right, so I have done as many rows as this. We are a little bit between 19 and 20 inches. I'm gonna stop here. Let me just count how many rows I am and tell you guys how many rows. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, how many rows I am. I'll tell you guys how many rows I am at. So I have done 43 rows of half double crochet in the back loop, and that should be around how many you need to get a uh, average adult head size. Obviously, if the head is smaller or bigger, you are free to add on more rows. I would say to just make it about two to three inches smaller than it needs to be because acrylic yarn will stretch. So now I'm gonna show you all how to connect the tube of your hat. So. It's gonna fold your hat. I will sew in my ends later. Um, also, obviously if you have ends, go ahead and sew them in now. Save yourself some time if you use multiple colors. But I'm gonna show you guys how to connect this and make it into a tube. So, what we're gonna do is just fold it over each other just like that. And I'm actually gonna put my hook on the top side. There we go. So I have my hook on the part that is closest to me. And we're gonna fold it over. And then we are going to start inserting it into that first stitch, the last one that we did. The hook, just like that, to put it in there. And then you're gonna insert it into the bottom of that first row that you did in your hat as you can see all the half double crochets and the change that they're in so here is the half double crochet the first one right here we're going to insert it into your hook into the bottom of that half double crochet we'll wrap the yarn around your hook and pull it through both those loops basically a slip stitch oops i messed up hold on <laughs> there we go boop so our first connection now go into the second stitch or the next stitch and into the bottom of the next half double crochet I usually go into that chain right there so here's half double crochet there's a chain put it right in there wrap it around pull it through everything into the next stitch into the bottom of the next half double crochet into that chain you're going to keep doing this until you connected both sides and made it into a tube with the bottom and the top open. So we're going to keep going and I'll meet up with you guys after I connect all of these. All 
All right, so then I'm on my last sewing, not sewing, slip stitching the last stitch. All right, so after you slip stitch the final one to connect the sides, you're gonna fasten off your work. A, A, cut the end off, not A, 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 K, A, sorry. <laughs> and then I like to wrap the yarn around my hook and then pull it through and then tighten it so I fasten off. So now we are going to get our the last yarn that we used. Um, I have two, I'm, almost, I'm just gonna use one. And we are going to kind of have, I'm actually gonna use my green yarn, just kidding. We're gonna kind of get a long string and fold it in half. And then kind of have about, I would say have around two feet, this is probably longer than that length, um, as it's folded in half, about two feet long. I'm gonna cut it, and I'm gonna put this on my darning needle. Kinda wanna have a long tail to sew, to sew up the top. So I'm gonna put that through, and have it in the middle, just like that, and then tie this in together. And this is what we're gonna use to sew up the top of the hat. People will like, sometimes use one string. I like using two for that extra sturdiness. You don't want the top of your hat to just come apart one day. All right, so now we're gonna get our hat and we're gonna sew the top together. So make sure that your hat is inside out and you're at the top of your hat and that it's inside out. All right, so now we are going to start sewing the top together. So as you can see, there is rows of every single half double crochet, one row, two rows. We're gonna be going in and out of these rows all the way around and we're gonna pull it tight at the end and sew it a few more times. So I'm gonna start off putting it in into a row, half double crochet, like at the top around like here. Top of the row, I'm gonna put it in. Now don't pull it all the way through yet. So pull, pull, pull until you get to almost the end knot. Here's the end. Before I pull it all the way through, I'm just going to put my needle through that. There's a knot. There's the two strands. Just so that this stays in one place so that when I pull the top of the string at the top of the hat, the end doesn't like slide through the rows. Just put it through that and then just pull it tight. So just make sure that this stays in place. You don't want this to be moving in and out of the top of your hat. Hope that makes sense. And now after we went in... That was that row. We're gonna go to the next row and at the top of it, and we're gonna put it towards us, just like this. And then we're gonna go to the next row and then go the opposite direction. Then the next row, this direction. I'm going to keep doing this in and out, in and out, all the way around the top of the hat in every row. If you start running out of um, sewing string, just pull it a little bit and I'll give you some more. So we're going to go in and out of every single row at the top of our hat. So this, is, this, is, this is so that we can... Did I skip a row? I don't know. It's okay if you skip one or two rows. No one's going to know. <laughs> so it's going to go in and out. I know I keep saying it on the way around. <laughs> Until we get back to this. So I'll meet up with you guys when we get back to the beginning of where we started. So you don't got to hear me continually say in and out, in and out as I go all the way around. So I'll meet up with you guys when we go all the way around the hat. Alright, so I've gone all the way around the top I'm gonna put it right through here and now after I went all around I'm just gonna pull it tight look at that look at that magic one second something got caught in there there we go yours should be easier than this not sure what I did <laughs> there we go and there's gonna still be a small little hole, but we're gonna sew that up. So at the top, if you pull it tight, just go across to the other side and just do a little sew. 
and then kind of go the other direction. I'm gonna go through this side, like perpendicular. Hope you all know your math. Perpendicular <laughs> to that first so, and then do it again. Just gonna do that a few times on do diagonal just to make sure that this is secure. So to so do like a star basically of sewing. And this is the inside of the hat, so it doesn't matter if it looks really pretty or not, it'll still turn out good when you turn it inside out. Alright. It's gonna feel through and make sure that I don't feel a hole. If I do, I'm gonna keep sewing. That's pretty tight. See my fingers not coming through, so I know that we're good. I'm just gonna make a knot. And then I'm going to uh, sew in this end so it doesn't come out. It's going to choose a side. Here's some green. So I'm just going to weave in this end on the inside of the hat. I have a whole video on weaving an end and I'll make sure that. I put it in the description below in case y'all want to see how I do. I like going like back and forth and then back one more time because I don't like strings coming out. I don't want things coming apart. I just like to be extra, extra safe when I weave in my ends. I can use my bootleg scissors. I don't know where my good ones are. All right. Then tone your hat inside and out. And I did not sew in these ends, so do not judge me right now. I did sew in the other ends. So if you wanted the hat without a pom-pom, you're done. But if you did want a pom-pom, I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. But look at this hat. Let me take it off the tripod. It turned out really awesome. I love all the colors. So here's a basic beanie hat. Ignore those. So we're going to learn how to make the pom-pom right now. So when I make pom-poms, I usually like to use my phone to wrap it around. I'm using my phone to record right now. So we're going to use my crochet hook case. Just so you guys know, this case is like 5-ish inches and about 1 inch thick and about 5 inches long. That's so why I used to wrap the yarn around to make my pom-poms. Now you can use one color or multiple colors. Multiple colors turns out really cool. I have to kind of fix that. Um, also, you can use this one color that is cool as well, like on my winter hat. Kind of, you know, let, let your eye rest on something. But for this hat, I'm just going to use one color because there's already a lot going on. So I'm going to use my green yarn. All right. The regular green yarn that I used the most in this hat. Now I'm going to start wrapping. Oops. So I'm going to use my thumb to hold on to this down here and I'm going to wrap around 200 times. I want a nice thick with three C's pom pom. So two, three, four, five, six. I'm not going to do this and have you guys watch me wrap. I actually stopped counting. So I'm going to wrap 200 times and I'm going to come back and show y'all how to continue making the pom pom. So I wrap my yarn about 200 times. I lost kind of a few times, but I'm pretty sure I got it right. So we're going to cut it off right here, right where we started. Before we take that off, we're going to get two long strands of string. This is about what? About a foot? Yeah, we'll say it's about a foot-ish. So get two strands about a foot long. So I heard that wetting this and then tying it is the best. So I'm going to wet this real quick. I heard that if you wet it and then tie it, it dries tighter and is less likely to come apart. The pom-pom basically. Okay. Now that we've got our two strands, you don't have to wet them. Just this a personal option I'm trying out. And then we are going to take off this carefully, y'all. I'm like, I'm, I'm holding 
the um the holes open on both sides to take it off. I got this side with my thumbs, other side with my pointer fingers. I'm making sure the hole stays open. Voila. Lay it in the middle of your strings. See that? Cool. Now we are going to use our strings to tie a very tight knot. This might not be long enough. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Around the middle of this pom-pom. Like, there we go. See that? It's <sighs> my finger. And then just tie it again. So tie it once, tie it twice. If you have someone available, have them hold the middle <clears throat> so it stays tight. There we go. So tie it twice. So one more time to be safe. And now we're going to go um, with our scissors and cut through the middle of this. Sorry, it got a little dark. I'm gonna cut. These are not my good scissors. We're gonna cut this. Where are my good scissors? We're just cutting through and having all this. So it looks like a lot right now, but don't worry. We are going to shape this afterwards. So go through one side. You might miss some. It's okay. You'll probably catch them later. Fluff it out. And then we're going to do the other side. Just right through the middle. So I usually go over a trash can when I do this because you'll get little particles everywhere, but I don't have time for that right now because it's not going to be a very good look over my trash can for this YouTube video. So, all right, fluff it out. All right. Now we are going to start cutting this down and shaping it. So I'm just going to start cutting it around, trying to get the perfect, actually, I'm going to go find my good scissors. I'll be right back. All right, so I found better scissors. And also, guys, I'm holding on to the strands that I used to, to tie this with. You don't want to lose these strands you used to tie the um thing with. So I kind of want to cut it until it starts shaping into a nice little smaller sphere. The less you cut, the better as you go. So you're not actually cutting off too much. These scissors still are not amazing but it's better than the black ones. So every now and then after cutting a bit off, I like to just hold it upright. Oops, shake it a little bit, see where I'm at. It's still way too big. So we're gonna keep cutting and cutting until we get the shape that we want. So I found my even better scissors because those were just not cutting it. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. All right. So these are even better. Man, look at that. Having good scissors is so freaking important, y'all. It, you know, takes like between, <laughs> it cuts off time, you know. You want to cut a pom-pom for one hour or five minutes like you choose. So these are really good. Okay, I'm going to come back again as I continue shaping this pom-pom. Don't forget to hold on to your string still. You're gonna need to, these to tie it onto your beanie later. As you can see, I'm kind of just turning 
turning it every now and then and shaking it as I continue to shape it. So turn it, cut, shape, and keep turning it as you go. The more you cut it down, the less flip floppy it is going to look, y'all. So here's my finished pom-pom. Super cute, super round, super fluffy. If you don't get it right away, take some practice. Like a, take some practice, can't talk, to get like a perfect little round ball. So now I have the bottom that I've been holding on to. These are the strings I used to tie up the pom-pom with. I have four gonna split that into two now hold on to two of those and actually let it go for a second put it to the side we're gonna go to our hat and our hat is right now right side facing us we're gonna put our hook with our hand onto the inside of the hat sorry my ends aren't sewed in and we're going to push through the middle of the top of our hat or somewhere next to it take those two strings two out of the four that we're holding your pom-pom together and pull it through and now we're going to go somewhere near where we just poked it in at not the same exact hole but somewhere else at the top of the brim so close to the middle and we're going to take the other two strands of the bottom of the pom-pom and pull those through All right, now we're gonna look on the inside of our hat and then we have two strands here. And okay, I did it kind of far away and two strands over here. These were the four strands at the bottom of our pom-pom. We're gonna do a knot. It's a regular tie. And then I'm gonna do, after, actually before you finish that, go to the top of your pom-pom and make sure that your pom-pom is centered. Perfect. Okay, we're going back in. And we're going to do another tie. And then if you want to make sure it's extra secure, you can get your darning needle. I put mine somewhere. And you can you can sew in these two strings into anywhere in the inside of the hat. And that will make sure that your pom-pom is extra secure. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right, so I have officially sewed in my ends. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Let's try it on and see how it looks. So the hat turned out really awesome. It is so cute. I love all the greens and the pom-pom. And if you guys love the tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And yeah, look at that. So awesome. Want to watch something else really cool? Check out this video next. Have an awesome day, my crochet kings and queens. Thank <laughs> you.